You know, I don't know if there's anything any more fun, Martha, than two Southern women getting in the kitchen together. Today, my friend Martha Hall Foose and I are gonna be dishing up some of our favorite dishes, starting with her delicious tomato soup. And then Martha's gonna be making some creamy homemade mayonnaise to go with our fabulous pimento cheese sandwiches. Look at it, it looks like softened butter, Martha. Well, I know how you feel about Dad. that. <laughs> and going on the side, we've got the crispiest waffle fries, y'all. This one's that crunch. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. And finally, topping it all off, we've got Martha's specialty, sweet tea pie and sweet tea. Now you know you can't leave on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, L look y'all, it's Martha Hall Foos. She is the author of Screen Doors and Sweet Tea. This book is so wonderful, y'all. A good old Southern girl from Mississippi. It don't get no more Southern than Mississippi. You know, you make me sound like a Yankee. <laughs> it's the deep, deep South. Yes, it is the deep, deep South. Now, what are we making, Martha? We're going to make a tomato soup, and we're gonna broil these tomatoes uh, in the Broil oven. or bake? Broil them so that skin's gonna char and get okay. really black. Okay. We're gonna start with three pounds of ripe tomatoes, and you can use any kind uh -huh. you like. And we're just gonna cut them in yeah. half and get that little core out uh -huh. of there. Notching out the and stem. And then you can kind of squeeze out all the seeds uh -huh. and any sort of little remnants that are in there. And we're gonna chop up a medium uh, white onion. You can just rough chop. So Martha actually went to France, y'all, to study. Uh, and I can't pronounce the school that you went to. Um, it's called Ecole La Note, and primarily it's a baking school, but I did a little bit of uh -huh. everything over there. Uh -huh. And were you married at the time? Was... Oh, no, no, no. Was... Oh, so you were a single woman a single in France. A single girl in Paris. I um, opened the door to my hotel the first day I was there, and I felt like Mary Tyler Moore, that girl, I slung the thing open. Paris! Took a lot to get out of Yazoo City to Paris, so Paris, here I come. Oh, how fun. We're gonna heat up this uh, little pot right here and we're gonna cook that down in three tablespoons of okay. butter. I've got your butter covered. <laughs> you know, people always think tomatoes and olive oil, but tomatoes and butter come together, in, right? Please, yes. Lady. Yes. So we're gonna get that melted up and we're just gonna add those rough chopped onions in there. Okay. And I'm gonna pop these in the broiler. Let our tomatoes broil in the oven for about uh, 12 minutes until the skins okay. are nice and charred. Okay. While we're waiting for those uh, tomatoes to boil, let's make some homemade mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, I love homemade mayonnaise and I can't wait to see your recipe. Well, my great aunt says, mayonnaise. 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 Yes, ma'am. You see what I'm saying, y'all, <laughs> about that southern accent? Well, what I'm going to do first is we need to get some eggs separated. Okay. And to measure out a cup and a half of canola oil. And I okay like to up. use canola oil for okay. my mayonnaise because it has a just a neutral sort okay. of flavor. Put our egg yolks right in our bowl here. Okay. Martha brought with her uh, her old mayonnaise maker, y'all. I used to have one of these. And this is what the women made made their mayonnaise in. This little net at the bottom would mix up all the egg yolks. Yeah. And then this little hole in the top, as you pump it up and down, would uh -huh. let the perfect amount of little oil drizzle down in there to uh -huh. get that velvety emulsion. Wonderful. I love this moth. I love that too. And um, if you ever see one at a garage sale, pick it up for yes, me because they're getting will, hard to find. I will find. get it. I know. We're not going to use your mayonnaise maker today, but we're going to use a little thing called a hand mixer. We want to get a really great emulsification. Uh -huh. So what we need to do is drizzle in that oil slow and steady. Uh -huh. You can see it's starting to become yes. opaque in color. Yes. And you're just, it's a labor of love, but once you go homemade mayonnaise, it's hard to go back. It's hard to go back, isn't it? And you know, you can flavor it any way you like. You can put a big old tablespoon of hot sauce on the end if you like, yeah. or some fresh herbs. Michael would love that. The acid in the uh, lemon juice and the vinegar is really gonna cook the eggs, so they're mm -hmm. not actually raw. Look at it, it looks like softened butter, Martha. Well, I know how you feel about Dumb. that. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna add our flavorings in here. Okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of dry mustard, a teaspoon of dry mustard. Okay. Um, you can add cayenne to taste. Okay, now I'll add about a teaspoon. And then a little bit of sugar. 
I'm gonna uh -huh. add about a teaspoon of that. Okay. And cannot forget our teaspoon of salt and a little bit of vinegar and lemon juice, about a teaspoon of each. And you can Hope eyeball you it. We're gonna leave it out on the counter for four hours. Yes, ma'am. All right. And that is pretty much it for mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna take these tomatoes out, okay? Beautiful. See, that's just gonna peel right off, y'all. And having those, you know, when you cook tomato soup, sometimes those skins peel all up in there and you get those little like rolled up paper pieces. And yes. And that knocks that right out of the equation. Perfect, y'all. And look at that. The skin's just gonna pull right off. Oh. This is use great. Yellow tomatoes, if you have them, or uh -huh, orange tomatoes, uh -huh. or, or do a two tone. Broiling them is really concentrated, those flavors. Yes. So, are we just going to put these into the onion pot, Mom? We are. We're going to dump these right in with our butter okay. sauteed onions. So, these are about 20 minutes, and the tomatoes are really going to break down. Uh huh. Great. Perfectly done. All right, can I take this juice and all? Yes, ma'am. That's all Every the, the good bit of part that in juice. There. Martha, now what have you got planned for that wonderful homemade mayonnaise? I know you got something good and tasty. Pimento cheese, please. Pimento cheese sandwiches, y'all in the South. We don't go on a picnic, we don't go on a boat ride without homemade pimento cheese. Coming up next, we can't have tomato soup and pimento cheese sandwiches without my crunchy waffle fries, y'all. What a perfectly Southern lunch. It is. And later, I can't wait for you to see this dessert. Martha is showing us her fabulous sweet tea pie. Oh, sweet tea pie, shut up. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, welcome back. We're making tomato soup. We've got our homemade mayonnaise made. And the next thing we're gonna do is one of my recipes, and it's waffle sweet potato fries. So how are you coming with the mandolin? I'm good, it's making fast work of it, I tell good, you. Good, good. Always use the hand guard. Yes, always no use the hand. how fancy you think uh -huh. you are. All right, so I'm gonna grab the sweet potatoes, y'all. I'm gonna drop them in. And these are only gonna take a minute to cook because Martha's cutting them extra thin. And we've got our peanut oil set to 350 degrees. Look at these, Martha. They're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? That color. I love sweet potatoes. They're so good for you, lots of vitamin A. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. And I swear I think they're ready, Martha. Love that sweet, salty, crispy. Yes. So I just want to shake the grease off of these. I'm going to just sprinkle them with a little kosher salt. That is a thing of beauty. Yes, look at that. Crispy. Yes, yes, yes. You want to reach in there and get you one? I do want to get me one. Mmm, 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 mmm. They're so... So thin, look at them. Light and crisp. Listen to that crunch. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. Well, come on down here, honey, because my stomach's growling. Those tomatoes are just cooking up. They are cooking down. So what are we going to do next? We're going to finish off our soup. Oh, okay. bird. <laughs> We're going to finish off our soup. We're going to add two tablespoons of chopped basil. And I'm going to try to stay out of the potato chips. Good luck with that one. All right, what, do you, you want me to grate the cheese up in this bowl? For our delicious pimento cheese sandwiches. And y'all, I'm gonna be grating about two cups of cheddar, a sh nice sharp cheddar cheese. I like it nice and sharp. And now I'm gonna strip down some little oregano uh -huh. leaves. Yeah. I love that spicy oregano. Yes. And then this is just gonna hang out. We're gonna add those herbs right at the okay. end so they okay. stay fresh tasting. Okay. I'm gonna get to work grating up two cups of Colby cheese. Mm-hmm. Yes. And this is grating up Sorry quickly. Sorry about Bodine, y'all. He sees like two winches in the kitchen with good food. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, and I like the sharp cheddar on this. You know, I, I do think. too. I do too. You need a, a sharp cheese. And the Colby really but. gives it a nice contrast too. Uh -huh. And you know what? Let's 
this herbs that they've cooked down. Why don't we uh -huh. give it a little sprinkle of sugar? Okay, and uh, how much sprinkle? Half of a teaspoon, maybe. And then we're going to add some salt uh -huh. and some pepper out of our cool little box here. I'll make sure you get one of my little boxes. I love a party favor. <laughs> I do too. So we'll let that finish up. Okay, Martha, now here's my bowl so you can add our cheeses together. We'll got cheese coming out of off. everywhere. All right, now see you've got some sage sitting over here on the counter. It's gonna be our secret ingredient in the pimento cheese. I can't wait to see what it's gonna to do to the pimento cheese. It's wonderful, and you know, there's a great description where they call it an opaque cicada's uh -huh. wing because that's what the little leaves look, uh -huh. just like a little cicada's wing. Uh -huh. So if you uh, want to Isn't chop up a little half right. a teaspoon or so, just a, a half touch. a teaspoon. You know, nice and so, fine. So we're not going to use much. Not a ton of it. And then we're going to drain our pimentos because you don't okay. want that liquid in there because you don't want your no. pimento cheese to be slimy. And then we're going to also add a teaspoon of dry mustard. Okay. Touch of cayenne. And we need some fresh lemon juice. You want to okay. grab that and for how us? Much, how much lemon juice? About a teaspoon. And I'm going to start sprinkling these pimentos in here. We're going to use a cup of our uh -huh. delicious homemade mayonnaise. May I dump? Yes, ma'am. Do the honors. So, you got some Worcestershire sauce? We do. It's about a half a teaspoon there or so. You go. And you've got a little cayenne pepper sauce. Right. And This you know, girl has a hot tongue. Well... All right, now how much of this? Uh, just a good little shake, maybe about a quarter about of a teaspoon. About a fourth of yeah. a teaspoon, okay. That looks delicious, Martha. I can't wait to taste it. So what do you say, let's get this lunch. All right, you take the pimento the cheese move. and I'll take yes. the soup. Yes, I'm hungry, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks so good. It smells so good. And I love your bread choices. Look at this beautiful pumpernickel bread. Yum. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Crispy sweet mm -hmm. potato fries. What a fabulous, perfectly southern lunch. It is. Mm-mm-mm. Cheers. Martha. Mm-mm-mm. Fabulous with that bread. Mm. Isn't it? Creamy homemade mayonnaise. Mm. 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 Buttery tomatoes and onions. You would never, ever want canned tomato soup ever again if you have it this way. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Those fresh herbs and that oregano gives it a nice little mm -hmm. kick. Mm -hmm. Finishing off with a little sugar really brings out the mm -hmm. tomato flavor. And the sweet potato fries are so delicious with the sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's next, Martha? Sweet tea pie. Oh, sweet tea pie, shut up. <laughs> Y'all, she just said sweet tea pie. Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie! <laughs> oh my God, she's got me so excited. I'm spitting sandwich everywhere. <laughs> Coming up, you can't beat this combination of sweet tea pie and later some sweet tea to wash it down. This recipe has the Paula Dean stamp of approval. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying the show and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Martha promised us pie, y'all. So get us going, girl. We're going to make a sweet tea pie. Love it. it. The house wine of the South into yes, a pie. Yes, yes. All right, now I'm cracking and separating eight eggs. Right, we're going to use eight yolks okay. and two sticks of butter. Right up your alley, this pie here. <laughs> and so I'm going to add those right in there. This recipe has the Paula Dean stamp of approval. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to measure out here three quarters of a cup of strongly brewed orange peacoat tea. Okay. And that's been set to cool because we don't want it to melt our butter. Okay. So we're going to make this way yes. ahead of time. So okay. to our butter here, I'm going to whiz this up okay. with two cups of granulated okay. sugar. As okay. soon as I get this separated, I will measure out your two cups of All right. sugar. I'm going to get this so it's kind of uh, mushed up and ready. Okay. Now 
what we're gonna get you to do mm -hmm. is slowly add those egg yolks a little bit okay. at a time so we can get that incorporated. Okay. Martha was telling me that when she was in high school, she went to the state, a state fair. The Mississippi State Fair pie baking contest. This was how this pie started and I thought for sure I was gonna take the day. All I got was a souvenir apron. They had some ladies that have been baking pie. No oh, ribbons for mom. <laughs> no ribbons for me. <laughs> and um, so I initially was making this with water and then one day I was drinking some tea while I was making the uh -huh. pie and I thought sweet tea, pie, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. And we've got her pie crust, her cream cheese pie crust patted down in our pie dish and it just looks wonderful. So why do you think your pie didn't win, Martha, or I even I just place? think I was a little upstart. You know, there were some uh -huh. ladies in there that had been baking uh -huh. pies longer than I'd been alive at and that honey, point. And take it dead serious, Oh, lady. very serious. They very are dead serious. serious about trying to get that blue ribbon. Let's pop that last little yolk in here. Okay. And then we're going to add your tea, right? Please do. And you can use your favorite herb tea in the wintertime if you want to use sort of a yeah, Christmassy herb uh -huh. tea in the summer, a little lemon. That would really change up the flavor, Martha. I mean, that would... customize it to what you uh -huh. like. In this part, it's really important to slowly incorporate it. Uh-huh. So it doesn't separate this on This is going to be a sweet pie. It's going to be a really sweet pie. It really is going to uh, be a sweet pie. And then next, that traditional ingredient, a little bit of cornmeal. So we've got okay. a teaspoon and a half. Okie doke. And that's going to give it a nice little tooth to it and also uh -huh. help absorb the liquid. Two tablespoons. All-purpose flour. That looks absolutely perfect. perfect. Give it a little half a teaspoon of salt because we always want to balance out yeah. that sweet. We're going to add the zest and the juice of one whole lemon. Okay. Oh, smell it. Mm. Something about lemon. It makes me want to go polish furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to right, beat so that you in want there the and we're going to get the juice in there too. All right, let's drizzle that out in here. Using my hand as a strainer. All right, okay. we've got our prepared pie crust okay. right over here. And you want to take this out of the fridge right before you're going to use it so it's nice and cold when it goes in the oven because oh, okay. you don't want any shrinkage and you don't want it to squish down right. in here. Right. And you're going to hold. hold this and yum, yum, yum. And oh. I love pie. Everybody loves pie. Oh, <laughs> nothing like pie. You can get anything you want from somebody. <laughs> As long as you give them a homemade pie. If I see a skinny girl walking down the street, I say, we want to send her some pie. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're going to pull a thing. She needs pie. She needs some little pie. <laughs> All right, I'll open the oven door and we can pop okay. it in. Right over here. I think Martha has got me beat with the butter. <laughs> I like the way this girl thinks, y'all. She's going to go for about 350, yes. 45 minutes. Don't go anywhere because we're going to have sweetie next. You just can't go wrong with sweet tea and sweet tea pie, y'all. Isn't that a wonderful way to spend an afternoon with a girlfriend and a good old pie? I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Martha, we have got to have some good old sweet tea to wash our sweetie pie down with. We surely do. So tell them how you make your sweet tea. You got a cup of water boiling here, and if you can add us um, three quarters of a cup of granulated okay, sugar. Okay, I can so do that. A lot of restaurants, uh, especially in the South, will will uh, make a simple syrup for the tea and bring it to the table in a little pitcher so you can sweeten your own tea. Because let me tell you something, sugar will not sweeten cold tea. It just will not. Stir and stir and stir. You could stir till you're blue in the face and you're still gonna have unsweet tea. And you know, you can make a big batch of simple syrup and mm -hmm. let it cool and then keep it right. in the jug in the fridge. Keep it and in so the jug, need yeah. And hand for juleps or whatever. Yes, yes. Okay, you wanna and pour that up in our cup? I will. 
And then in our jar over uh -huh. here, we've got four large tea bags. Okie doke, and, and that's that, like a family size tea bag, right, right Martha? And we've let that steep so it's nice and strong. And I'm gonna switch over to the other side. Okay, yeah, come on, you. I'm just gonna ice our glasses. Come on around here. We're gonna pour our tea right in our nice pitcher here. Mm -hmm. We've let that cool off some, because if you put it in the refrigerator while it's hot, you'll get cloudy uh -huh. tea. Nobody wants cloudy tea. So to our tea, we're gonna add our simple syrup. Okay, you don't. Drizzle in a little bit. Oh my goodness, and now I have to turn my attention to the pie, y'all. Well, important things. Yes, come on over, dear. Yum. That right yes. down there. Is that beautiful or what, Martha? Ready? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Martha, it's so good. Mm. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.